The Miss America pageant also allows transgender women to compete as long as they have had the surgery. Jackie Jordan is back with us now. Jackie, your thoughts on these changes? Oh, well, I want to, I mean, like surgery, are we very specific with the surgery? Like, is that a specific qualification? I know on my podcast, I just interviewed a 67-year-old bikini fitness model, real woman, mm -hmm. and, you know, they get qualified for size, age, weight, like there's a lot of specifications that have to fit into and, and it's all and it is all biological women competing right. you know so this is a very different para parameter but from my perspective in media here we are again with branding you know it's a, a Miss Universe I mean we loved watching Miss Universe and Miss America growing up as as kids you know and what we were so proud to watch them not only for their their talent but then they had to do something you know how to do something that was important and significant so that was like a role model here we go again with a whole brand that's being you know eradicated for what we, we knew it as an institution for so this is all branding in your opinion then this isn't you know a bunch of transgender women that were trying knocking on the door and saying hey we want to be part of this competition it's 0.5% of the population I mean the way that we are watching branding happening you think it was well and that's the push of it it's trying to make it which is 50 50 right now in terms of biological genders it is a war on gender in terms of branding what they're pushing mm -hmm. and so but it's we're we're accommodating 0.5% but there, we, a lot of this goes back also to where the federal funding goes down for education how it comes into the school system. So behind all of this, of course, is you know where the money goes, money flows, and there's a battle for that as well. But we're on the receiving end of it as consumers, as customers, and what we take in in terms of our entertainment, you know, our clothing choices and our makeup choices. And here we go with another brand. And yeah. you know, maybe maybe some people dismiss this, saying it's a pageant. What's the what's the big deal? Hmm. But there is something to but it. it. You know, this is a it moves right into the whole title sure. line conversation with what Absolutely. we're seeing with the sports and the athletes, and you know, you know. We, 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 at least when I was growing up, Generation X, and we were we were so proud to have a softball team and, and to be able to have our own girls, you know, softball team and those type of of uh, things. And so, and it's just you know, it's biologically the surgery. You know, we all know follow the science. The surgery still doesn't make a biological male a biological female. But these are career launching opportunities here. And you think about at least in the Netherlands Absolutely. here, the, that opportunity the has gone to a, a biological Absolutely. male. Absolutely. We'll wait until we see this kind of move into the Olympics. Mm. Yeah. All right, that Just could be a matter the next of time. Yes. All right. All right.